Welcome back guys, this is Legit Lee here back again with another video. Today I am trying to show you guys this 32 channel servo controller. Now, if you're having problems with this like I was, um, I read through the PDF file and all this information about the controller here and it wasn't exactly telling you how to hook up the power connectors. I mean, I mean, they showed the schematic of it and, like, where the power wires go, but they didn't say exactly how to make the servos work. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I had going on. So, you guys could kind of copy this a little bit, I guess, to help you out. Um, over here, I have a voltage um, adjuster, basically. Um, the LCD on here is messed up, but the overall, um, all that black stuff is just a bunch of plasti dip paint. This was off of another project. I thought the board was messed up, but it actually does work. You can adjust the voltage and everything by using these buttons and then pressing, like, enter is okay or whatever. And I just use my, um, I just use the multimeter on the output to adjust it so I know exactly what voltage is coming out so right here I have 12 volts going in from this little 12 volt AC adapter is at 1 amp comes in over here and as you can see I have power going into this board and then the output comes out as 5 volts I have it adjusted for 5 around 5 6 volts around there and then Right here, as you can see, the power coming off of the same 12 volt lead, I have going straight into the VCC portion on the main board itself. So 12 volts goes into the board from here, and you can see there's two black wires, that's the, just the ground connection. So this green wire goes to the 12 volt side over here and then this green wire is the positive that goes into the 5 volt side over here now the center is ground for both connections which is great and then I have on my computer up here I'm running this uh, ultimate motor controller version 6.0.10 so um, over here, as you can see, I am adjusting the servo 1 here, and it is online, as you can see right there. It says online. I'm on COM port 7, and the bud rate is at 115200. So, over here, you can adjust the movement of the servo by moving left and right, and uh, that's the bud rate. And so this one, this little servo right here is on servo 1, and then this one over here is on servo 2. Now I'm just going to move servo 1, and you'll be able to hear it moving, and I'll show you in a second. And I'm going to show you right here. Servo 1, I'm just going to move side to side. Now, when I do it for servo 2, it tends to cut out. And I think that's because it needs more amps than the 1 amp power supply I'm given to it. It's fine for this one because this is a smaller servo. It's not requiring so many amps for it to move. It would move 100 times better if it was more amps involved, but it still moves just pretty okay. For one amp going into the board itself here so you know one amp coming out of the power supply is powering this power supply which gives out five volts over here and then again it comes out from um, the same power source is set for 12 volts on the other side to the same board which is then just it's all one amp instead of doing like two three you know I would say a good 
I would want to say about five amps tops would be a great starting point. I mean, these are servo controllers. So basically, like, you know, you could use a LiPo battery like the ones they have for, like, RC cars and stuff like that. 3S, 4S, whatever you want. And, you know, those are rated for very high current, which is, you know, high amperage. So, you know, one amp isn't going to make all these move. And I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to go ahead and start moving servo number two. And you'll see that the board will kind of cut out a little bit. Because it's drawing too many amps and it's not enough amps. So I'm moving servo number two right now. Now see it moves, but you hear the beeping. It's because it's it's because the power, the power source just isn't it's just not enough. Now it can move a little bit, but it needs more power. That's all that is. But you know that's that's an easy fix. I'm just going to get like a whatever power supply or you know battery that'll power all this and be perfectly fine but you know this main reason why I made this video is because I was having such a hard time trying to get the servo to even move at all and how I was supposed to wire everything up because I was nervous about you know plugging all this up including the USB on here because the USB is already giving power to the board as soon as you plug it in bam it has power but it's not enough so what you're going to do is um, power it by 12 volts here. These two lines, the first one is positive, the middle is always going to be ground. And then you're going to power it again, because it needs two power supplies, with 5 volts coming in, and then another 12 volts coming in. Now you can power this all off of one power supply. You just have to make sure that you have a voltage adjuster that comes from off your 12 volt you always have to make sure it's going to be 12 volt or a little around there because of the fact the main board only takes in 12 volts if you give it any more extra I would say like say you gave it like 15 it will probably burn the circuit out so you know you get like a 12 volt power supply run the power from off of here to over here gives that power and then get a voltage run the same as that power leads off of the 12 volts and turn that power side to a 5 volt power source and then you plug the same thing over here that's what they were trying to say when they said two lines turns into four lines off of one su power supply you don't need two power supplies you just need two lines one that's 12 volts and one that's 5 volts so if you have a 5 volt voltage adjuster or like a bolt step down converter or whatever you want to call it as long as you have 12 volts going into one part of the board and another 5 volts coming into the other side of it then you have enough power for it to run and then this is the USB isn't powering I mean it powers the board but it's not powering the servos or anything like that it's just really used for data connection and that's what will throw you off it's not power to the servo it's just powered to the board to let the board know hey this is COM port 7 and you know indicating and then that's why you'll keep getting all that buzzy noise it'll keep buzzing through this little buzzer right here if you have it all powered up and you have that bright green light or blue light whatever light is on your board saying hey I'm on everything is all good then you can start you know moving your stuff around like how I'm doing right here you can move it no problem so that's good. You don't have to worry about all that. So I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, subscribe. I know this was a little complicated at first for me. I'm trying to make it as easy and as short as possible. You know, 10 minute video ain't so bad. Um, please, like I said, like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And if you have any questions about this, just let me know. Um, I'm trying to research as much as I possibly can with this. I only have two servos plugged in right now. I do have like 10 or 11 servos I could plug in but I need to get the power source with more amps going into it so that way I can do all that so uh 
yeah, tune in for another video soon. I'm just going to be slightly updating everything with all this. So I hope you guys like the video. You guys have a great day.